everyone. Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness here in the WNWO Weather Center. Thanks for finding our web weather forecast. Some quiet time with a chance for a few light snow showers. No big storm systems look to be coming our way as we head into the second half of the weekend. Really overnight Saturday night into Monday morning. Our next best chance to have some impactful weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast. Or we'll take a look first at the radar and satellite picture. I'm so excited about the forecast. I wanted to jump ahead there. You can see clouds moving in through the afternoon. A very weak disturbance rolling through the lower Great Lakes. The first half of it coming through here as we enter the late afternoon, early evening. Another little push as we head overnight and into the day tomorrow. You can see that one back across the Dakotas. So a chance for some light snow showers. I think this first little wave moving through late afternoon, evening, not going to do much for us. The bigger storm off to the east coast, continuing to sap most of the energy out of anything coming our way. Now, as we do head into the uh, overnight hours, maybe a little bit of light snow shower activity developing and then uh, off and on snow showers for your Friday. Nothing that's going to be uh, much to write home about. Look at the warmer air sitting just to our south and to our west. Temperatures all the way up to the 40s back over parts of Iowa. You break into eastern Nebraska, you're in the 50s and then down toward the Ohio River. They've been around 40 degrees. We're not going to get into it just yet, but the fact that it is that close means that it's only a matter of time and that time clock I think really starts to turn for us as we go into the beginning and especially middle and end stages of next week. So if you're a fan and been wanting for and hoping for some warmer weather, hang in there. It is coming. Not tonight though. Cloudy, a couple of snow showers developing as we go through the late evening. And then overnight into the day on Friday, it's just going to be a dusting at most. If you add up anything, we get overnight and through the day on Friday. So don't want you to think it's going to be uh, a shovelable snowstorm. This is more of uh, just something to look at, if anything else. Temperatures tomorrow, mid-20s. Numbers uh, kind of backslide a little bit into the day on Saturday, down into the lower 20s for high temperatures. And then as we go through late Saturday, I think after sunset into Sunday morning, there will be another chance for some light snow. Doesn't look like a lot of, ac of accumulation there either. Maybe an inch at most if this thing can get its act together. Then we get a break through Sunday afternoon. And then most of Sunday night, it's overnight Sunday night into early Monday morning that I am more concerned about. I think in the pre dawn hours of our Monday, we're going to see some precipitation bubble up from the south and from the west. It may be a rain snow mix or it could be rain. That wouldn't be a good thing because the surface temperatures would still probably below be below freezing at that point. So it could be an icy morning commute on Monday only to see temperatures warm enough to change it over to rain showers for midday and afternoon on Monday. So it would be a brief period for some freezing rain on Monday that we would be concerned about going through the weekend. Beyond that, check it out. It warms up as we go into Monday and then it keeps warming up as we head through next week. That's a definite trend difference for us. Low 40s on Tuesday with some sunshine, some showers possible Wednesday. We eventually climb through the 40s into the 50s for high temperatures as we go through Friday, Saturday of next week. But the, the problem there is that we're still going to be melting snow. We're going to get rain on top of the snow. That necessarily not a good thing. Flooding becomes a concern for the usual areas as we head into next weekend. I'm Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness. Thanks again for finding our web weather forecast.